Hey action figure enthusiasts, welcome back to Talking Toys. Today we have something super heroic for you. But first, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered what would happen to the most powerful man in the universe if he collided with the mutagenetic ooze from TCRI? Well, today we're answering that question as we unveil the Turtles of Skull mutant He-Man action figure. Let's dive into this epic crossover figure and see if He-Man can survive that, that mutagenetic madness. Are you ready? Yup! So, what does happen when the most powerful man in the universe is doused with a mutagenetic ooze from TCRI? Nothing good, that for sure I can tell you. With He-Man now a mindless pawn in Skeletor's hand, the fate of Eternia hangs in the balance. Will this be the end of our beloved hero? Let's hope not. Let's take a look at the packaging. The mutant He-Man figure comes in the same retro-style package that pays homage to the origins and vintage Masters of the Universe toys we come to love. With the same color changes as we have seen in the previous figures we have reviewed on this channel. Even though this is a crossover for both Masters of the Universe and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mattel does an excellent job at making us feel that this line is still deeply rooted in the Masters of the Universe timeline. We have Turtles of Skull logo up at the top, He-Man, listed there for his name and most powerful mutant in the universe for the flavor type. We also have Skeletor and Shredder instead of He-Man and Leonardo on this box because it is a villain. We also have the Masters of the Universe logo and the Turtles logo as well as the Mattel logo on the front. On the back of the box we can see this great piece of mutated He-Man artwork as well as Shredder in the background holding the infamous mutagen. Behind Shredder is a slime pit, or a mutagen pit, if you will, reminiscent of the Horde slime pit playset. Gee, I would love to see this come out as a toy for this line in the future. Let me know in the comments down below on your thoughts for a mutagen pit just like that. Also, let's go ahead and finish up the back of the box by looking at the rest of the figures in this wave. You can see all four of them there, as well as a picture of He-Man with some flavor text that says, Twist into powerful battle position. How about we get this guy out of the package and get a closer look at him? What do you say, guys? First things first. Because if we went with the second thing first, we'd be here all day. Let's talk about the design. The mutated He-Man figure is more beefy than his Origins counterpart. While staying true to the classic Masters of the Universe to Origins toy-inspired design, this figure beautifully blends with the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because now he's mutated. He-Man now has a translucent blue skin tone and lime green lightning crackling all over his body. His hair has changed from a blonde to lime green. His eyes are now red. He has a black bandana and black for his chest piece. The chest piece is accented in an orange for the H and the spikes that go up along his shoulder. Silver metallic paint on his bracers and belt, as well as on his club. His belt and bracers have spikes on them, and his bracers are made of a soft plastic. His furry underoos and his boots are all in black, and his boots have brown accents for the fur on top of them, as well as the wraps around them. And oh look, you can see his little piggies. In this way, it's clear that he's more Hulk than Hero, this He-Man figure is definitely quite imposing. Let's take a look in comparison to his Origins counterpart. He stands in that five and a half inch line and look at those biceps. Or with a 24 python! Outside of those big arms, the rest of his body actually looks almost exactly the same as his Origins counterpart. He looks really good standing next to this figure. As with all the figures, not only in this wave, but also in the Origins lineup, this figure comes with up to 16 points of articulation. This allows for conventional posing and some action-packed displays. His head turns a full 360, and his arms move up into a T-pose. They also spin in a full 360. He has a bend at the elbow, and the elbow has a spin as well. His wrists turn a full 360 and come with a horizontal bend. He has a full 360 at the waist. His legs move forward and somewhat back. He can do the splits. You're welcome, ladies.
He has a bend at the knee, which also swivels a full 360. He has a calf turn. His ankles spin a full 360 and move forward and down. Whether you're recreating an epic battle or striking powerful stances, Mutant He-Man is up for that challenge. Alongside the mutated He-Man figure, you get a menacing mace, a weapon worthy of the most powerful mutant in the universe. In conclusion, the Turtles of Grayskull Mutant He-Man is clearly a must-have for any collector, both of Masters of the Universe and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or even if you're just a collector of one of these heroic franchises. It's a unique blend of power, nostalgia, and sheer awesomeness. If, if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more epic toy reviews and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep those figures posing and those collections growing. This is Joel from Talking Toys, signing off.